In interior scenes, you can use review for real-time feedback of lights and shadows, but also to do quick lighting analysis. Remember that to achieve proper results, the scene should be built to scale and proper photometric light should be used. In this scene showing an art gallery, the lighting provided is all based on lighting luminaires from ERCO assemblies and associated photometric IES files. ERCO specializes in architectural lighting and offers downloadable catalogs compatible with 3ds Max and 3ds Max design. Right-click the Shading Viewport menu label and use the Lighting and Shadows menu to enable hardware shading. Nothing much happens at this point. There are still some adjustments to be made. Use the Shading Viewport menu again and this time enable Ambient Occlusion. Ambient Occlusion adds additional shading to surfaces that are in close contact to one another. Notice the shading at the corners of the walls and ceiling. Still, at this time, the viewport feedback is not yet showing the effect of scene lights. Use the Lighting and Shadows menu to ensure the scene is lit with the actual scene lights. The viewport display is a tad dark. You need to adjust exposure control. This is done in the Environment dialog. Set the exposure to MR Photographic and use an EV value of about 6. This allows you to make quick light adjustments without the need to perform a full render. Use the Lighting and Shadows menu to enable shadows. You can set the shadows as hard or soft using the configured dialog among other adjustments. Keep in mind that while you get real-time feedback on lighting and shadows, only direct lighting is taken into account. Notice the dark areas on the walls and ceilings. Indirect lighting requires extensive calculations and cannot be simulated in real time. More importantly, you can perform quick light studies to ensure the lighting is performing as expected. To that effect, set the exposure to use pseudo colors. The viewport display turns into gradient values ranging from blue dark areas to red bright areas. You can define the areas of interest, the center of the hall and paintings, as areas that need to receive a minimum comfortable amount of illuminance such as 250 lux. This gives you an immediate feedback as to which lights are behaving as expected and which ones need adjusting. The wall-mounted lights are meant to illuminate the ceiling, but they seem a bit strong. Select one of them and dim it down. Notice the real-time feedback. Once the lighting analysis is done, you can revert to the MR photographic exposure and try a full render.